This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Welcome you all to this first lecture on physics. Today we are going to study a new concept called as physics. So this is the first chapter in your topic physics. Dear students, uh, till now you have gained preliminary ideas about many concepts such as optics, electricity, motion, heat, gravitation, not only these things, even many other things like magnetism, universe, sound, waves, energy, all those things. So under the subject science. So now these topics, we are studying all these topics under the topic called as physics. Okay. These topics comes under the topic called as physics. So in this we are going to study in detail about all these various concepts uh, till now you have gained only the preliminary idea so here we are going to study in still more depth okay so now i told you just now we are going to study all these topics under physics so your first chapter in physics is the same it is uh, introducing you to the world of physics okay it is just like introduction to the world of physics what are the things that we will study in physics what are the different laws that are mainly you know very much important in physics what is the nature of all those laws and what is the contribution scope of this physics so in the first chapter we are going to study about all those things so your first chapter is physical world. So in this chapter, we are going to study what is physics. The first thing is what is physics? So here basically we are going to study the definition of physics, what exactly the study of physics means about all those things we are studying in physics. Okay, And in the next part that is scope and excitement of physics, we are dealing with the scope of physics. Okay, What is the significance of physics and in which are all the fields it is used. And what's the importance of physics about all these things we are going to study in a second part. And in the third part that is physics, technology and society. In this we are studying about the development in the field of technology and in the field of physics and the development in the field of technology due to physics. Okay and how it's contributing to society, how it is helpful for the society, about all those things we are going to discuss in the third part. And in the fourth part, that is fundamental forces in nature, we are going to study about the various fundamental forces in nature. So, they are the basic forces in nature. So, they are very much important forces. So we are going to study about those forces in our fourth part. In the last part, that is fifth part of this chapter, we are going to study the nature of physical laws. So here we are dealing with 
some of the basic laws of physics okay so now let us study what is this physics so till now i told you physics we are studying all those topics under the topic i think you are getting a question what is this physics isn't it so now let us study what is this physics actually is physics is one of the basic disciplines in the category of natural science okay physics is a science to understand nature physics is nothing but the study of nature in physics we are going to deal with the nature which means there are many natural phenomena that takes place in a surrounding world isn't it for example raining is a natural phenomena isn't it similarly i can give you the day and night it is a repetitive process isn't it so these are few examples of natural events so in physics we are dealing with such natural events we are going to study the reasons the mechanism and why those processes and why the natural events occur what's the reason behind that so about all those things we are going to study in the topic called as physics so physics is basically a science to understand nature okay the word bhautik vigna it is taken from sanskrit word okay it is a sanskrit word which uh, deals with the science of studying the basic laws of nature and their manifestation in different natural phenomena okay and this science of studying various natural phenomena as well as basic laws of nature and their manifestation in different natural phenomena is called as physics okay man has always been curious about the world without no surrounding him isn't it we are always curious to know the things the happening surrounding us okay like uh, natural events okay because of this curiosity man has observed the physical environment carefully searched meaningful patterns and relations in natural phenomena and still continues to do so conclusions facts theories derived from all these attempts means physics so physics is nothing but the results conclusions that are obtained after studying the natural events or the natural phenomena surrounding us okay the word that is physics is taken from a english word which means the word that is the english word physics is taken from a greek word and the meaning of this word is nothing but nature so physics is nothing but nature and it is a greek word okay and even i told you physics is a science to understand nature this is science word is taken from a latin word okay it is taken from a latin word and the meaning of this latin word that latin word original form is uh, scientia okay so this latin word scientia means its meaning is to know got this yes the english word physics it comes from a greek word the meaning of that word is nature similarly the science is taken from a latin word that word is scientia which means to know so basically 
physics is a science to understand nature i say physics basically we study about the nature natural events so whenever we study any natural events one thing is sure that there should be a mathematical description for the natural events that we study isn't it both physics and maths are very important in studying any natural phenomena so if i say physics is the king of science what about mathematics yes mathematics is queen of science okay if physics is king mathematics is queen both are interrelated got this yes so this is about the definition of physics so now in the coming class we are going to study about the scope and excitement of physics okay